Today, we're gonna talk about setting up a plate for qPCR. For a well plate, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make some master mix. Each vendor has a master mix formula you'll want to follow. This usually comes as a packaged insert. Each master mix has primer, probe, water, enzyme, and your DNTP buffer mix. The primers are used to find the target sequence. The probes are used for visualization of the target. The enzyme is used for replicating the target sequences. Lastly, the DNTPs are the building blocks for amplifying nucleic acids. Make sure to keep all ingredients on ice. Also, to make sure to keep your final master mix on ice, make sure you keep your master mix plate on ice. Just keep everything on ice. It's smart to plate the master mix first into your plate. The reason you want to do this is because you're less concerned about sample contamination at this point. You can also reuse pipette tips if you want to save some money. After the master mix is in the plate, you can add your sample. Do not reuse tips at this point. Make sure you use filter tips. Do not forget to leave some spots on your plate for your positive and negative controls. When everything is mixed, you want to properly seal your plate. Make sure to use the correct optical seals if you're doing qPCR. You can use the scraper to seal your plate. If you want to get a very good seal, you want to make sure you do a crisscross pattern on the wells. When everything is sealed, make sure to spin down your plate around 3000 RPMs for a minute and it's ready to go. If you found that this type of content was really helpful for you, please like and subscribe so we know to keep making more. Bye.